Welcome to TV9 Digital. I'm Neha, a research from Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis. The United States suggests that a person who has had mild COVID-19 infection can have immune cells producing antibodies for months after recovery. The study suggests that such cells can even continue to produce antibodies for a lifetime. The study was published in journal Nature and it says after a bout of mild COVID-19 infection, repeated illness is unlikely to happen. The research found antibodies in people even 11 months after the first symptoms. The conclusion of the researchers is that these cells will continue to produce antibodies for life. This therefore is a proof of immunity that will last a lifetime. To discuss this research's results in depth, immunologist Dr. Sitesh Roy joins me. Welcome Dr. Roy, my first question to you would be, do you agree with the research conclusion which suggests that mild COVID can leave the infected person with antibodies lasting for months? Yes, Neha, we certainly know from previous uh, coronavirus infections like SARS and MERS that some people who have infection can persistently have raised antibodies or memory immunity for months and years after the infection. This is somewhat of a uh, unpredictable response in some ways because some people tend to have higher and more intense memory immunity than others. But certainly it is a good sign if these uh, memory immune cells that are capable of producing uh, protective antibodies persist in human beings for up to 11 months as per this study after their original infection. Uh, it certainly is something that's very positive and something that is very optimistic. We can only hope that even after vaccination, the studies that are going on around the world will indicate that post-vaccination titers of these antibodies and eventually of the memory immune cells that can be stimulated in vitro to see how much of neutralizing antibody persists will also be quite high. So I think we should all be encouraged by findings like this. The research suggests, Dr. Roy, that immune cells producing antibodies can persist for a lifetime. Could you elaborate on that? So after an infection or two doses of a vaccine or a booster vaccine, we develop something called a memory immunity or an animistic response. This animistic response included, includes both memory B cells and memory T cells. B cells are the ones that produce antibodies. T cells are the ones that convert uh, B cells into antibody producing cells and also have the capability of forming what is called cytotoxic cells which can directly kill the virus infected cells also. They can also orchestrate a lot of the other parts of the immune system to get rid of the virus faster. So when a person has these memory cells hiding inside their spleen, inside their lymph nodes for years together should they happen to chance upon the virus again their body very rapidly multiplies these memory cells and starts producing the right kind of antibodies and killer cells or cytotoxic cells, which can then go and get rid of the infection very rapidly. This is the beauty of our immune system, just as a baby who's born and has never seen any infection gradually becomes immune to all the different viruses and bacteria through vaccination or natural infection. In the same way that same memory immunity can work in COVID-19 against SARS-CoV-2 and keep us safe and protected. So I think that this is what our uh, natural selection has brought us to with a very complex immune system that has a good memory. Lastly, I'd like to ask you in this case, while the experts say that antibodies will last for a lifetime, what does it mean in the context of vaccination? With vaccination, it's a slightly different story because we are exposing our immune system through most of the currently available vaccine to just the spike protein uh, receptor binding domains and the spike protein complexes, which means that we develop selectively antibodies against them. We have to realize that the virus is a far more complex structure and when the entire virus comes into the body and a person develops an immune response, 
it is different than what a vaccine induces. So we will need independent vaccine studies to follow the people who have been vaccinated last May, June, July through the trials and subsequently to follow them over the months and years to see how they respond to these antibody production over time and also like in this study they were able to actually do bone marrow uh, sampling to detect the memory cells which do sometimes uh, survive in the bone marrow uh, where many of our white blood cells are formed. So doing those studies are not easy but hopefully we will have similar or near about similar studies done post vaccination to for uh, individuals who have taken the vaccine and see how well their memory immunity is lasting. So it is again hopeful and optimistic and we just have to wait for those studies. We do know that up to six or seven months there are reasonably good titers that are being detected. Hopefully it will be longer and that would mean that we would require booster doses of the vaccines at greater intervals, maybe one, two or three years. But that is something that only time will tell. Well, there you heard the doctor. He says there is hope that we may have long lasting immunity even after a mild COVID-19 infection and vaccination. Thank you very much for joining me. If at all you'd like the information that I've shared, do not forget to subscribe to TV9 Digital across all social media platforms. Stay safe. Keep those masks on.